Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Lisa the Painful. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we defeated the EWC Wrestling League and became the Eternal Champion and gained this super belt that gives us a lot of cool stuff. Um, I kind of want to wear the personal keepsake, which is a dead flower, but I feel like I probably should keep that. But you know what? I'll switch it out, because the belt is so damn good. And we can buy some plastic tarps, some turquoise pads, a dandy hat. Look at that. That looks pretty good, man. Plus 20. And we can buy some deluxe sunscreen. Well, these make a huge difference. Obviously, I'm going to have to buy these. And I'm going to buy some plastic tarps. So, you guys get a huge upgrade over here with your dandy hat and your plastic tarp. And you get one too. It does lower his attack by a little bit, but everything else goes up by so much that it's actually kind of worth it. Oh, he can't equip a tarp though. There you go, his agility goes on a little bit. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, what are we gonna do, right? So we're gonna get rid of two business hats. Uh, no, sorry, midlife crisis hats. We're gonna get rid of uh, rain poncho. We're gonna get rid of child's blanket and uh, picnic blanket. No, I'm gonna get the one by it. The fur coat can go. Um, horse's helmet. I'm gonna keep because I don't know. Some of these things, like I don't know. I want to keep them. So there we go. We've sold some uh, pretty basic stuff here. We've got a hundred mags again. What else can I buy? Some deluxe sunscreen, a fur coat. Oh, why did I sell the fur coat? Oh no, turquoise pad, that looks pretty good. And deluxe sunscreen, let's buy one for Brad. So what does that do? Well, there you go, just brings everything up. Hey, there you go. Um, what else did I buy? I bought something else. Oh yeah, I bought him this. The special defense goes down, but his regular defense goes up. I think that's okay. I mean, I don't really know for a fact. Uh, what can I sell now, though? I had a regular sunscreen. I think I'll keep this. And can I buy another... No, I cannot. Well, it's not a big deal. We're doing pretty good. So nothing here. Um... Hey, brother. You best not go beyond this camp. The devil owns the rest of this land. Thanks for the tip, man, but I've got a fine buddy. I want to know what is inside the devil's machine. It turns humans into freaking mush. What could do that? Hmm, I don't know, but it's probably something that got created. The devil's machine is rumored to be a cement truck, but it's the cargo that's the true mystery. Hello, traveler. You like what that wrestling shit? I think it's so stupid. Take some soup, yes. Yes. Ah, he still thinks that's, that's stupid, eh? Well, okay. Fair enough. Wrestling's not for everyone. What's at the bar? Fancy perfume. Real sugar. Coca-Cola. Cola. Creamy Coca-Cola. If you throw this can at someone, blah, blah. Well, oh, that's a lot of SP. And this one revives TP. I really don't know what that means. And we can switch up the gang, but that won't be necessary for now. Now this guy says, if you have a death wish, you'll continue on. I'm seriously not fucking around. The devil's machine is rest beyond this point. If you enter the machine, you will never return. Your body will be mutilated. Nobody knows what's inside the machine. We just know that nobody returns. You still want to go? <laughs> no, I'll stay. Smart man. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I know that's a cave up there, but I, uh, there's another cave this way. Now, unfortunately, I think I could have probably would have gained um, XP with my team had I kept up with the uh, with the wrestling. So it's probably short-sighted to win that belt. Uh, what's over here? Seems to be... Ooh, well, here's our save point for the end of this episode, and I'm not going to use it right now. Because uh, I couldn't save before. Oh, crap. That's one slippery girl you got there, Brad. <laughs> She's tough. That's for sure. All that isolation did her curious mind some good. It's over, Tony. <laughs> Haven't heard that name in a while. That's what my dad used to call me. <laughs> That's why we clicked. 
You were the only one that understood what it was like. We used to be so alike. <laughs> Poor, <laughs> beaten, fucked up kids. Except I kept my chin up. You, f you fell down. <laughs> you don't have an excuse. Not with me. All this stuff with Buddy. It's bullshit. What happened to us? What happened to survival? To brotherhood? I don't care about that anymore. Buddy's my daughter. She's my second chance. <laughs> Get real. She was a gift to the world. Not you. She's not your child. You fool. Uh, face it. You're just not man enough to do what's needed to be done. <laughs> Don't worry. The world is safe. I made sure of it. No. Brad. Please don't hurt him. Please. I'm begging you. Kill them or let them live? Wow. I really don't know what happens if I let them live. They're like old friends of mine. Will they fight me? If I kill them, will Buddy never forgive me? Buddy seems to really like them. I mean, I need to be ruthless in this game. If I don't kill them... If I don't kill them, something's going to happen. That's bad. Bad for business. They'll come back and not help me. But you know what? I think that if I kill them and Buddy finds out, she'd never forgive me. So we'll let them live this. We'll let them live, but... Get up. Leave. Don't ever show your faces again. Thank you. Let's go, Sticky. Uh, this isn't over. <laughs> oh. oh, man, I know I'm going to regret that. I'm definitely going to regret that. But if Buddy knows that I killed Sticky and uh, what's his face, she'd never forgive me and never come home. Damn. I kind of wish I would have killed them. Hey, dude, I know you're there. Who are they? Can I fight them at least? Did you have a nice reunion? I thought you'd want to see your pals, so I let them live for you. That reminds me. Do you know this girl? I do all too well. I never wanted her here. It's no place for a girl, but I guess she can be a useful tool. Maybe now I can show you what it feels like. <clears throat> what do you want? That's nice. You're learning. Shut the fuck up. Just tell me what you want. Bradley, I'm shocked. You really are changing, but you still haven't suffered enough. You used to be so joyful. These people are holding you back. You're better off alone. I want them all dead. What? Or her nipple. I'll cut it off. That's fair, right? She has two after all. It's not a tough choice. Uh, God damn it. So we lose our whole party, or we kill off her nipple. God damn it. And obviously, if I try to kill him, um, it's game over, because he's unbeatable. Uh, and I learned in one, uh, one of you guys commented that if you manage to kill him by somehow poisoning him, like you paralyze him, you poison him, and you let the poison do all the damage, he has about, you know, uh, was it 4k or 10k health? I forget. God damn it. I need them. If I kill them, I need to use all these new characters. I need to go grind off screen. I need to buy new gear. But we can't cut off her nipple. Because she's, she's going to need that one day. She's the last woman alive. God damn it, we haven't suffered enough. No shit game. I actually care about this team because they have healing abilities too. You know, Olaf's been less useful lately and I, I'm not a huge fan of Beastborn. I mean, he does good damage. But uh, Nern, 
Naren has been with us since the beginning. So, what's the choice here? Do I severely gimp myself? Obviously, Brad wants to save Buddy. But what would Lisa think? Or, sorry, what would Buddy think? If we kill all our allies to save a nipple, she would probably never forgive us. She wants to save the world. What would Buddy want right now? Oh, man. I don't want to lose my party members. That's going to make the rest of the game extremely difficult. Oh, God damn. Jesus. Uh, Lisa, or sorry, I don't know who Lisa is. I don't know if that's my little sister that passed away in my previous life or if it's Buddy, his real name. But would Buddy hate us if we told, like, that's the thing. Would she forgive us? I feel like Bradley would say, <laughs> kill them. I don't really give a fuck about them. Oh my god. And I want to kill him, but he's unbeatable. And if you do manage to beat him, he just brings, gives you a game over screen. Or I'm assuming it's the same. Because uh, last time we tried to fight, fight him, we died. And you guys told me that even if I would have beat him, it would have been game over. So this is, not, this is a non-option. Really, we have these two options. But the problem is, if I kill them, I, have to, I don't have enough save points. And I don't feel like grinding for hours. I guess I could grind in the gym by continuously doing those those squats and use my cheating ability to just kind of do it over and over and over again until all gain, they gain levels. But then, I don't get money, so I can't equip them, and they have some good stuff right now. <sighs> so I guess we'll have to cut off her nipple. I don't think Buddy would would forgive us. Uh, either way, we're, we're screwed. Cut it off. I see. Sorry, sweetheart. It's not me doing this. It's him. Wow. Tough kid. Here, you keep it. As a reminder, never forget this feeling. You got a nipple. Now then, we should be get we should be goodbye. Damn it. I really don't like that decision. So where are we well, now we have a nipple. A reminder of your choices. Can I equip it? What does it do? Ups your agility, ups your luck. Yeah, well, I mean... Lowers everything, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, what do you do with a nipple? <laughs> God damn it. I hate this. And now she's gonna hate us, obviously. What the hell? Well, that was quick. She got away. She's impressive, I'll give her that. It's always the sweetest fruit that comes from the most rotten loins. She would have been a real asset with the woman. What are you talking about? It doesn't concern your kind. Brad, I've been working very hard with you. I'm glad you've been taking joy. And it's a good thing I get to play with you longer. But no matter what I do, it still hurts. You haven't suffered enough for what you did to her. What? What the hell? Your arm. I still want it. Give it to me. Or give me your possessions. Your magazines, your clothes, items, all of it. Can you survive without them? What's more important to you? God damn it, not this again. Why are you do Come on. Don't waste my time. Answer me. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Funny. You want an answer? Here's your fucking answer, murderer. What the hell? Also, he took all of Brad's stuff. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, okay, so he only took Brad's shit, but fuck. Ah, oh, man, god damn it. Oh, wait. He didn't get the eternal title belt? He didn't really take my stuff then, did he? What the hell? He took Brad's stuff, but he didn't. Or did he take my items? God damn it. I lost my left my arm, 
Yeah, no shit, it's my arm. I was asking a question. How the hell was I supposed to know I'd lose my an arm? So now he has my arm. I have Buddy's nipple, and now I have no items left. Great, how the hell am I supposed to play the rest of this game? And now my abilities all freaking suck. At least I still have fireball. I can still tackle. At least a flurry of punches. At least I got something that's kind of good, I guess. But my my attack decreased probably quite a bit, too. God damn it. Dude! Oh, wow, hey, Farty. Nice seeing you, bro. Anyway, I'm Tardy, and guess what? The girl stole my boat. She sailed to the island to the far right of us. It's unbelievable how re resilient she was. I was completely overpowered. Now, I do have a brother who has a boat, but he couldn't possibly make it over here. The waters are too rocky, but if we can build a new boat, I can take you to her. I just need some wood, a sail, a way to propel the boat, and tools to put all together. You know all that, and we got a deal. So get to it. Alright, so I guess we're looking for a boat now. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I told you guys that I wouldn't... Oh, okay, I don't want to sleep here. That's just scary. Um, oh, I thought that was going to be a bar. I told you guys I would live with the consequences, the consequences of my actions. And so that's what I'm going to do for now. Uh, he took all my mags, though, so I can't shop right away. You again? Oh, I guess I didn't need that much stuff, though. I mean, most of that stuff... Oh, we, he took all our fire bombs, though. God damn it. What else is here? Oh, man. Is this zone 3 or something? If I use the truck keys... With, we're, okay, we got area 3. There's some people there. So I could have... Oh, my God. I don't know what this is. I don't know who this guy is. Oh man, how depressing is this? Kinda wanna see what that other area was too. Um, joy pills? What does this guy have to say? It looks satisfied. I guess maybe... I guess these things are... I don't really know what these things are. What's this way? Just more stuff. More stuff. Uh, well, guys, to be perfectly honest... God damn it. Um, there's not much we can do right now. I mean, I have a whole new area to explore. I can go try and go in that, uh, in that semi-truck and find the cargo and what it does. Okay, give me my arm back. Oh, man. I guess that this... If I would have chosen my arm, he would have taken the arm and I would have kept my stuff. If I would have given him all my stuff... I assumed that my stuff was my equipment. Oh, man. I should have just given him my stuff. But he still wanted my arm. I guess we'll save. I'm gonna... Uh, to be honest, I'm too discouraged right now to... And I'm gonna save here. I'm too discouraged to move on. Um, with none, none of my mags and none of my stuff, it's there's really no point, like, right now, so. Uh, God damn it. Anyways, in the next episode, I guess I'll keep moving. And uh, we'll get further along, and I'll probably grind off screen to get some money, and blah, 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 same old stuff. So, uh, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.